here we're standing in an amazing grace park, which is a relatively new park, but it's amazing the, the variety of insects that we have here already. We, we manage the, the shore front area, which is like a semi-natural habitat, but gradually but surely we've been managing it over this last few years, trying to bring some of the wildlife back, some of the grassland species, some of the, some of the wild plants, and it's amazing what you can see that has happened already. As you know, I'm the uh, town gardener for the Donegal County Council here in Bunkrana and then shown. We manage about 40 acres of amenity grassland, some of that for the All Air and Pollinator project. The Pollinator project, yeah, I suppose we've been involved in the Pollinator project since about 2016. We have 77 uh, solitary bees. Some of those nest in, in bare ground. They're called mining bees. We have 21 bumblebee species and you're most likely to see about six bumblebee species, six common bumblebee species in your garden. I mean, if you plant the flowers, the bees will come. There's, there's many ways that you, you can help our pollinators. The most obvious thing, I suppose, is to plant pollinator-friendly plants. Go native if, if you can. One of the other actions we, we do is um, reduce mowing regime. We have a few hay meadows which support native plants. So that's likely one of the best things you could possibly do for bees. Encourage long grass, it provides them with nesting habitat and then provides the, the food source for them in terms of the plants that can grow in it, their dandelions, your nap weeds and your thistles. You can't manage the big meadow, maybe let a patch go for about six weeks and you'll be surprised what'll pop up. In my job, I take part in the All Island Pollinator Plan and I'm involved with the Bumblebee Monitoring Project. That involves walking a fixed route, a transect, from March to October, recording all the species that you see on a one to two kilometer route, fixed route, and you record all your species, that is fed back into the All Island Pollinator Plan. A few tips on, on how to encourage pollinators in your garden. Basically, plant the flowers, the bees will come. But you have to plant the right flowers. Um, native if you can, uh, and then deliberately planted species like herbaceous perennials, annuals, um, trees, shrubs, native hedgerows. A couple of examples here, a native there, that purple loosestrife, bees are just absolutely mad about that. I mean you can collect a few seeds and that uh, in the autumn and, and grow them in your own garden. Um, plant there. Bees are just mad about this plant. This is a Cosmo. Most people are familiar with this. And we tip to, to extend the flowering period. Deadheading is so important. You couldn't deadhead enough. So just remove the, the uh, spent flower heads. That will encourage uh, more flowering. Dahlias are another brilliant plant for, um, for bees. And if you can, go for single flowering dahlias. Um, this, this is a species called uh, Fascination. And again, you need a dead head all the time, and you'll be surprised the amount of, amount of bees you'll get on, get on these. And if you're going to plant flowers for bees, always go for single species. Double flowers don't work for bees because the nect nectar is bred out of them. They're just too, too well bred. And, um, so the more simple the flower, the better for the bees. We should all be moving towards a greener future. Um, we don't need sprays and insecticides and fungicides in the garden. Uh, let nature do it for you because these are the insects that, that make up our ecosystem. Ecologically they're so important and, and that's what biodiversity is all about. Supporting all living organisms. 